Dorsal scabular nerve. The dorsal scabular nerve arises from C5 nerve root. It innervates the rhomboidus major and minor muscles. It also innervates the levator scapula. The levator scapula elevates the scapula and tilts the glenoid cavity inferiorly by rotating the scapula. The rhomboidus minor and major connect the medial edge of the scapula to the spinal column. The rhomboidus pull the scapula towards the midline, that is the scapular adduction. It also pulls it superiorly and scapular downward rotation. This is opposite to the serratus anterior which is supplied by the long thoracic nerve. The dorsal scapular nerve passes dorsally, perforating the middle scalene, then it travels along the under surface of the levator scapula down to reach the rhomboids. With injury to the nerve, you will get scapular winging. The scapula may be laterally displaced with upward rotation. How do you examine for the rhomboidus? Have the patient bring the shoulder and the scapula together posteriorly and then palpate the contracted rhomboidus between the medial aspect of the scapula. Another important topic related to the dorsal scapular nerve is brachial plexus injury. A preganglionic injury, which is root avulsion, have the worst prognosis. Then you need to identify that preganglionic injury. It is usually associated with Horner syndrome, ptosis, meiosis, and hydrosis due to disruption of the sympathetic chain. You may have medial winging of the scapula due to long thoracic nerve involvement. You also have loss of the muscle function activity from the muscle supplied by the dorsal scapular nerve which is C5 and possibly other cervical nerves such as C3 and C4 that supply the elevator scapula. The dorsal scapular nerve supplies the rhomboidus muscle and may give branch to the elevator scapula. So when you do EMG in this situation, you'll find loss of innervation of the cervical paraspinal muscles. This is very important because it means it's probably a preganglionic injury, which means it will have a bad prognosis, and the histamine test will be normal in this condition. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.